What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Delta Force video. I'm going to be going over why I believe Delta Force has a solid chance to do something special for the extraction shooter genre. They're going to be attacking a certain niche of players, the nine to five guy that just wants to have a competitive arcade fun time and enjoy a video game. I know a lot of people are looking at this as a reskinned DMZ Call of Duty like game, and that's fair. I understand. I see where it's coming from. The hit markers, the movement, the graphics, I got it. But in this video, I'm going to go into detail why it is completely different from anything Activision will probably ever fucking make. The depth that Delta Force goes with its systems, its loop, its variety in each raid, its points of interest, variety in the points of interest on each map, and really a million different avenues that a player can take each time they go into the map. I've talked to all the right people I feel like. I've gotten to look at at least hands-on gameplay, asked all the questions. Shout out to TJ, he's a member of the CC. Before I forget, make sure you check out the link in the description. Join the collective today. So yeah, man, here's the deal. Even after talking to all these people, trying to dig into this you know, for hours and hours, I still feel like I only know 30 to 50% of what the actual game entails because there's so much depth to it. I want to take you back to PUBG 2017, 2016, whenever it released. But shortly after PUBG got its hype, along came Apex, a more streamlined, arcade, colorful, tons of skins, abilities, faster pace, battle royale. Right now, it's fair to say, despite its downfalls, Tarkov is the king of, an, of the extraction shooter. But Tarkov is also very slow, tactical, realistic, immersive, kind of gray, not really colorful, not, not, it doesn't appeal to the casual gamer. It appeals to hardcore tactical FPS players. So who's going to be the apex legends of the extraction shooter genre? We've seen Arena Breakout. I think they're a solid contender. And now we have Delta Force. So what can you expect when you load into a game with Delta Force? You're going to see the map. You're going to see where the safes are. You're going to see if there's a boss, a Mandelbrick, everything. It's all right there. So you might decide to play for skins and bunkers. And I've seen different Easter eggs where you might take that route. A side quest might pop up. An event might pop up. You might just decide to focus on your main mission, side missions, extra little assassination side quest to get extra money. You might decide to go kill the boss. Like I said, there might be an in raid event pop up that you might have to do. You might just need money. So you play for max money or max kills. There's a rank system in this game. Again, they're trying to draw that competitive arcade attitude towards this genre. You might play for safes and vaults, but at the end of the day, there, there's so many things to do and every single raid seems to be different. Again, at that fast, high intensity, high stakes pace. Oh, and here's a big one. A lot of us PC gamers forget that a huge number of people the nine to five guy goes home and plays on console. Delta Force is going to be on console. If we're calling DMZ a flop, a lot of people are going to be introduced to the genre on console, which is huge. They really have a chance to take the genre, I mean, really in their game mainstream. Some of the concerns are pay to win features, microtransaction galore, all that stuff. And I can tell you from at least what I've seen, you can't buy anything on the play test. So I'm trying to go through it and try to learn. And we found there is probably a lot of opportunity for microtransactions, but it doesn't seem like anything's going to be pay to win. Let's talk about the rank system a little bit and why I think it can work. I've had people disagree with this, but again, they're trying to appeal to that player base. Shout out to TJ for providing these images. I'm gonna leave his information in the description as well. Make sure you check out his stream. Dude's been real generous with sharing information that he could. So make sure you check him out. It's going to calculate a total score based on the following. Average loot extracted. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. That's at the top and that it's for a reason. And we're going to dive into that reason. Your extraction rate and your KD. It's probably going to also do how many matches you played if you're consistent, right? So average loot extracted. What makes Escape from Tarkov so intense when it comes to playing it? It is when you have a lot of gear at risk or you have killed somebody with a lot of gear getting out successfully with the goods. Their system is emphasizing that. Your rank will be heavily weighted off of how good you are with keeping your composure when you have a lot on you and extracting. Again, another layer of intensity. You're going to also be able to see your friends rank, their tier score, and so on and so forth. Again, I think this is a very good system to add to the genre. I'm just gonna leave that there. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. So let's just call that the competitive hardcore side of things, really playing for your rank. So like I said, now let's turn that off and let's just go to the casual player trying to get through the story, 
get through the missions, you know, and play the game. I believe the Mandel Bricks are going to be the front center prize pony and the gold currency attached to those in the game for every kind of player. You even see here that you can ante up a certain amount of money to go in to have a higher chance to pursue the Mandel Bricks and get out with it. We also know in some form you can transact the gold that you get or the, the skin that you might have as its own currency with each other. I believe that system is going to be the main hook that keeps people coming back to this game. There's still a little bit we don't know about it, but it's definitely something that they put a lot of thought into. And I'm very interested to see how it turns out. I doubt it's going to be in the play test coming up. But hey, if it is, it's going to give us a lot of clarification. The play test is going to be July 18th. You can get access if you watch my stream. I'll be streaming as soon as it goes live. And I'll also be giving away some keys early. So if you want some of those, I would make sure you join the Caliber Collective. Again, I got that in the description. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have a conversation with you. Either way, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.